Okay, so you haven't figured this out already. I'm not vlogging in my usual lair, a.k.a. my bedroom. My parents are off on some ice fishing tournament, so I took over their living room. Fun, fun, right? As you can also probably tell, I just recently crawled out of bed, which is why my hair looks so crazy. Anyways, we're not here to talk about my hair. I'm here to talk about what Katie did in my pants. Granted, I only really read this book because I like to say in my pants at the end of it, but that didn't make it a bad read. The thing is, well, after finishing it and Wikipedia-ing it, I'm not sure that's even a real word, I found out that what Katie did was written as a children's book. I could have figured this out myself after reading it, but I genuinely really enjoyed spending most of yesterday reading it and watching Merlin, which, by the way, if you haven't already seen the show yet, you suck. It wasn't as heavy as a read as Lolita, thank goodness. In fact, it was a really sweet children's book that carried all those sweet, lovey-dovey messages about patience and being a good person and all that jazzy jazz. Let me summarize. Quote. Katie's the oldest of six children. Their dad is a doctor and their aunt takes care of them. The first half of the book pretty much talks about all the crazy little pranks and games that the kids get into after the day and tells them. Katie is the oldest of six kids. Their dad is a doctor and their aunt takes care of them as a mother figure after their mother dies. The first half of the book pretty much talks about all the pranks and stupid stuff the kids get into until the day that their cousin Helen comes to visit. Helen is a bedridden invalid and is a figure of perfect patience and beauty. At first, this kind of irritated me about her character until you learned that there's this very sweet, kind of tragic romantic story in her background that I really enjoyed, actually, and I kind of want to write my own story sort of about it. Is that sad? I think it is. I think it's theft. Anyway, the day after her cousin Helen leaves, Katie is a real cranky fan. She breaks the base that her cousin Helen gives her for the gift, and she ends up accidentally intentionally pushing her sister Elsie down the stairs after they get into this little squabble. In a huff, Katie goes outside and sits in the swing that her aunt told her not to sit in. While she sits in it, not knowing if the reason she wasn't supposed to sit in it was that there was a staple broken that was holding it up, and somebody had run to get a new staple for it to fix it. Katie falls out of the swing and hurts her spine. Ironically, Katie becomes an invalid and is trapped in bed for over two years. Throughout this, she learns all those goody-goody lessons about patience and love and family and yada yada. Rather depressingly, in this time period, their aunt and mother figure, Izzy, gets typhoid fever and dies. Katie is then charged with managing the house from her bed. All this was actually kind of fun to read, but then the ending gets all rushed and sucks because just out of the blue, Katie suddenly feels like she'll be able to walk, and she does. The all live happily ever after. The end. And since I forgot about this in the first take of this video, I have had time to change clothes, which is great because that shirt is starting to smell a little funny. <laughs> and also, a friend of mine who was back visiting home from college for Christmas break went and cleaned out some of her old books that her parents wanted her to get rid of, and she ended up finding an entire series that she thought I would like. I doubt I will entirely enjoy them. They look a little young adult for my own taste, but it's 13 whole books. It's the Daughter of the Moon series. I'm not entirely sure what that's about, but I do plan on reading them after I finish The Great Gatsby, which I plan on reading starting this afternoon, or maybe I'll just read book 13 now. It'd be a huge dent and kind of a nice bumper if I get behind, which I'm sure I will around graduation time. Well, we'll see what I read next. Bye, everyone. Yeah. <laughs>